Hello and welcome to Wellness Wednesday. I'm James Curry with the Communication Department, and I have with me here, I'm talking to Tiffany Taylor. She's the Program Administrative Supports, that's a mouthful. Okay, so she works with a community health worker program. So let's just get right on into it. Tiffany, tell us about the community health worker program. Well, firstly, my name is Tiffany Taylor, and I am the Program Administrative Support Specialist for a new program titled Community Health Workers for COVID Response in Resilient Communities, and I'm also a certified community health worker. So our program has partnered with local community-based organizations to create the Community Health Worker Coalition, and the coalition aims to create a resourceful network of individuals linking individuals other individuals to communities and local health and social service systems. So Community Health Workers for COVID Response and Resilient Communities is grant funded by the CDC. And additionally, we're in partnership with USA's Center for Healthy Communities. See, I knew that was a mouthful. It was a mouthful. <laughs> I'm, glad you, I'm glad you had that part and not me. That was the easy part. Um, okay, so you know, thanks for telling you telling me about your program. It is one of our newest programs here. So let's talk a little bit more in detail. You know, what is what is a community health worker? So community health workers are trusted members of the community. They serve as a liaison between community uh, <laughs> between <laughs> social health care and social service systems. And they can reach individuals where they live, eat, work, and play. And these community members are familiar and well-known in the areas that they serve. Hey, and guess what? We also make mistakes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's okay. We, we're, we're, you said resilient, right? So we're resilient to come back from our mistakes. So um, what role do community health workers play in the community? So ultimately, we're your community connection. Community health workers can be utilized as a resource to bridge the gap between the health and social service systems. They also assist with improving access to care by serving as that liaison, as I mentioned earlier. And community health workers also assist with community education by providing culturally appropriate education and information based on like outreach settings. Now, you know, at the health department, we we're involved in many, many different things. We have many different initiatives, a lot of things people know about and a lot of them that they don't know about. So I'm glad that you're on here talking about this. So tell me what your goal is for this program. So with this program, we are hoping to build a coalition of trusted community members and we want to rebuild that trust in the health and social service systems. With that, we're aiming to increase COVID vaccination rates and overall decrease health disparities that may have happened as, you know, a result of COVID-19. Now, there's something special going on this week in June. So uh, tell me a little bit about it. What am I looking forward to this week? This week is Community Improvement Week. So that takes place June 5th through 11th. And just be on the lookout for all of our activities that we have planned this week. And you'll see. <laughs> And it never hurts to smile too much, right? <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany, thank you for being on Wellness Wednesday and talking about one of our newest programs and initiatives. We certainly appreciate that. All right, thank you, James. You are quite welcome.